What's up, B2 Capital G here? So the six monsters that have been revealed from the Link Brains pack have uh, been translated by the fine folks at YG Organization. We're going to go ahead and take a look at them to catch you guys up to speed if you didn't see the first video. Some of the archetypes that we knew about were getting support have been revealed by Konami. That would be Gladiator Beast, Cleef Fort, Burning Abyss, and Light Sworn, and then a couple of archetypes that we didn't know about, and that's uh, Christron and Hieratic. So I've looked them over. I think that some of them are just absolutely excellent. You need to run them. I think that some of them are just kind of functional cards. You run them because they're a link monster for your archetype, and you know it's more support. It helps you kind of expand your field and open up some extra deck plays that weren't possible before. That was kind of what I thought maybe for Burning Abyss. Like, well, Burning Abyss didn't even matter if the link monster didn't have an effect. You're just gonna run that shit because you kind of need a link monster for the deck. So let's. Let's start off with my favorite of the bunch, Clee Fort Genius, which is uh, this guy right here, if I can get it. There we go, Clee Fort Genius. So, there's a link to... 1800 attack bottom left bottom uh, right are the link points two machine monsters um actually kind of crazy this guy can be played in everything from cleave fork to cyber dragons to super heavy samurai i believe our machines death bots like there's a lot of machine archetypes out here um let's see it says 1800 attack i don't know if i said that already this link summon card is unaffected by the effects of uh spell slash trap cards also unaffected by the effects of other link monsters so uh other link monsters is kind of cool it's like uh you know a little cherry on top of the sunday but being unaffected by all spells and traps is pretty damn like that's some masterpiece level shit so <laughs> we clearly see how powerful that is on something like masterpiece and i'm definitely with that it's not you know nearly as big Biggest masterpiece, only 1800, but I'll take it. Once per turn, you can target one face up card. You control one face up card your opponent controls, negate the effects of both those cards until the end of the turn. It's like a little bit of a mini skill drain, um, especially in Cleefort. Where you can basically use this uh, to make your Cleave Fort monsters get their original attacks. You guys know if you normal summon a Cleave Fort, it's 1800 attack. But if you special summon it under skill drain, then your dude basically jumps up to his regular stat line. This is a way to forcibly do that without having to rely on skill drain, which is a limited card in the TCG. Very, very useful. Um, also can be used on pendulum zones and scales and stuff like that. Third effect, when two monsters are special summoned to the zones, this card points to add one level five or higher machine monster from your deck to your hand this basically lets you get any cleave fort monster lets you get a cyber dragon because cyber dragons can use this with machine duplication off the effect of like uh or off uh something like cyber dragon core at the same time you could even use this in dynamis i'm pretty sure dynamis are machines as well they can pendulum summon just like a deck like uh cleave fort can so you're going to be running this card like i think every deck that can summon this card is probably going to everything from machinas to you know super heavy samurai to just a lot of decks like this card is just absolutely fantastic next up uh gladiator beast um dragosius and that is this chicken looking dude right here who i believe is octavius from the original gladiators assault uh this card is 2000 attack link rating of two win uh wing beast so shout outs to icarus attack works with best Yari. Works with Grizaris, now works with this guy. Bottom left and bottom right are the link points. Two Gladiator Beast monsters, so you ain't going to be summoning... You're not going to summon this everywhere like the Cleave Fort Genius. You're just going to be playing this in Glads. Second effect, hard once per turn. <clears throat> Stat line's really good for a level 2, or excuse me, a link 2 monster, by the way. If a GB monster you control attacks, uh, that monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Your opponent, your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated until the end of the damage step. At the end of the battle phase, if this card battles, you can return this card to the extra deck and uh, basically tag it out to special summon two GB monsters with different names from your main deck. So, to me, this is more of a functional card. Uh, I think you run it more because it is a link monster. It's not like ridiculously impressive like the uh, Cleave Fort monster. But I do think that there are some redeeming qualities. For starters, it lets Glads do something that they've kind of struggled to do. And that's a lot of times Glads, like you, your opponent just has big monsters on the field and you kind of need to tag out. And uh, you aren't able to run your monsters into their monsters unless they're in defense position. This lets you do that. It protects itself. It also cuts off all battle phase tricks. So you can save things like Chariot. Don't have to use them on Honest. Don't have to use Forbidden Lance on that Mirror Force. Kind of saves you from having to use cards. At the same time, it does do something else 
as far as just working in glads that even Grizzaris doesn't do. And since this guy is not technically a contact fusion, it does put your glads in the graveyard early. So when you tag out, you can use things like Darius and a quest to get them back from the graveyard. Whereas if you make Grizzaris, you'd only be able to get, you know, what already with the cards that are already in your graveyard. So your monsters going to the graveyard is pretty damn important because it makes your other GBs instantly useful. I kind of wish that this card had I don't know, maybe like you get a discard from your opponent or something because Glad's never had a way of like really hitting the hand. It, it, I just wish it was a little more powerful, just a teeny bit more, and it would have been so much better. But I think it's a functional card. I think you're going to run probably... Mm, probably two copies of it yeah you don't want this to get solemn and then you just can't like link summon anymore so i would say two copies mainly you know the fusions the new fusions you needed to work with those we have um Shirabini, black angel of the burning abyss best artwork out of all of these cards in my opinion uh pretty decent card link rating of two dark fairy i guess like the uh, dark lord archetype 500 attack which is in my opinion probably the achilles heel of this card requires two level three monsters thank goodness that uh terra top went to one right because this card might have been nuts but it does open up the possibility for you Phantom Knight, uh, you know, Burning Abyss players, for you Phantom Knight uh, PK players out there who still want to um, play, you know, like PK Fire, still opens up the possibility of that. And also Tour Guide, you know, still works. It says you can only use the third effect once per turn with this card's name. So hard effect or hard once per turn. Monsters this card points to cannot be destroyed by effects. That's important. Konami had to build something like that in there because they don't want your BA monsters blowing themselves up because you summon Mathematician or because you summon a tour guide after, you know, this is already on the field. So I think that's really good. Second effect, if this card would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send one card you control to the graveyard instead. I think they want you being able to use your Burning Abyss monsters like Dante, Seer, Graph, being able to send those to the graveyard. Hell, that maybe even uh, opens up possibilities of BA being able to run like a uh, Phoenix Chain again. If you run, what's a called if you run pks and you're burning abyss you could blow up your own copies of um what is that damn card the the fiendish chain for pks the phantom knights of no i was gonna say break sword <laughs> that's the xc the phantom knights of Fa fall glade fall glade yeah, yeah you could run that you could blow that card up uh effect number three Send one level three monster from your deck to your graveyard. Target one BA on the field you control. Um, increase that target's attack and defense by the original attack and defense of the sent monster until the end of the turn. This is the most important effect to me because this not only fixes the Achilles heel of this card, it's terrible stat line. It gives you a potential, like, I don't know, send a seer to the graveyard, gain 1600 attack. But at the same time, you can trigger those monsters and it does not have to be just a BA. You can send a Phantom Knight from your debt to the graveyard and then your burning abyss monster will gain the stat line of the phantom knight like that's pretty damn good this definitely opens the door for phantom knight burning abyss to like totally come back and i think that this is a functional card i think it's probably better than the glad beast because it has more utility and i, I think you're going to run this card i think you probably just like the gb1 i think you run a couple of copies of it uh, next up, we have another card that I think is really impressive. Not quite as easy to summon as the first couple of monsters we've covered. This is uh, Kyrios, Dominion of the Light Sworn. Definitely good artwork. Not as good as like the you know the Cleaford or the BA, but it looks pretty cool. I think that this is a brand new Light Sworn. Like I don't think that this is a monster that got old like Minerva or anything like that. Uh, if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me, guys. 2,400 attack, but this is a link three. This is not link twos like the other ones. And uh, the link points are bottom left, bottom right, and then up towards your opponent. So uh, is that Deco Talker? I think those are Deco Talker's uh, link points. Three monsters with the same attribute, so Light Swarns, but different types. So Light Swarns, <laughs> basically. I don't know where else you're going to play this card other than Light Swarm, but this card is built for Light Swarm. If this card is Link Summon, send one card from your deck to the graveyard. Wolf, Felis, uh, Felis will trigger off of this. Um, Necro Gardena, Electromagnetic Turtle. It's a foolish burial, basically, but even better, it's a foolish everything, essentially, when it's Link Summon. So, I mean, that right there can get you at least... Uh, a, a, a plus one second effect if this card is sent from the if, if this card is sent 
Um, oh, excuse me. If a card is sent from your deck to the graveyard, send the top three cards from your deck to the graveyard. So if any time you mill, if you happen to excavate or mill, then this card will kind of kick in and do that as well. So this is a uh, kind of similar to Garof. Yeah. Very similar to Garof, where Garof mills if another light sworn on the field mills. Then the third effect says, if this face-up card leaves the field, due to your opponent's card effect or destroyed by battle, target one card in your graveyard, add it to the hand. They needed something like this. Light sworn need more ways of getting Judgment Dragon back. I'm just going to say it. We need to not just have to run Beckoning Light and Monster Reincarnation. This is a really good effect. Also, possibly honest, but I'd lean more towards Judgment Dragon. I think this is a really good card. I don't think you need multiples though i think you just run one copy because i don't think you're going to summon this card all that often i think that it is very possible because of things like wolf and felis and i think it's a strong card but i don't think you're even going to summon this more than minerva to be honest just because it does require three if it was like i don't know 1900 and only required like two monsters uh, then you'd probably run like two of it, but I think you're only going to run one. Then we have the Christron uh, Halifiber. This is a link rating of two water machine type. So I guess another deck that can run the uh, <laughs> even a, another deck that can run the freaking Cleefort uh, monster. 1500 attack, bottom left, bottom right. The, the materials are two monsters, so you can use tokens with this including one tuner so it has to be at least one tuner but you can still use tokens so shout out to scapegoat you can only use each effect of this card's name uh once per turn if this card is link summoned you can special summon one level three or lower tuner monster from your hand or your deck it's effect the effects of these of the monster special summoned by this effect cannot be activated this turn that's really good anytime you can special summon from the deck dude just sign me up like i get a christron monster straight from my deck like go ahead and just sign me up and it doesn't have to be a Christron, it just has to be a tuner so i can even go outside the archetype with that the second effect says during your opponent's main or battle phase you can banish this card special summon one tuner synchro monster from your extra deck this uh this special summon is treated as a synchro summon so wouldn't that trigger something like um wouldn't that trigger something like formula synchron um hell it start oh man i should i, I should have did a search before this because i'm thinking of like i i feel like stardust charge warrior is also a tuner <laughs> i feel like he's a tuner too and he also lets you draw a card obviously christron have a lot of synchro tuners i think that this is probably one hmm i i don't want to sound dumb because I, my my intuition was was telling me you're gonna run three of this to be honest like you're going i know you're gonna run at least two of this card this card seems like it has way too much utility and the christron deck not to run a couple of copies of so this seems like a card that is super important and I think it just opens up the possibility of you running cards in Christron that you probably weren't even going to run before, like Formula Synchron and stuff like that. I could be totally wrong, but I feel like you're going to run the most of this guy right here. I could be wrong, but I, I think... Uh, I'm not a Christian expert. I'm, I'm not going to say I think that I'm not. This is the only one that kind of confuses me, the Heratic one, because I'm not really sure what to think of it. Everybody keeps saying that it's so good. I'm not a Heratic expert, so I'm not going to be like, a, I'm not going to be the, the be all end all hanging on this. This is Heratic Seal of Celestial Spears. Crap, I didn't even show the artwork for the last two. All right, well, I guess I'll just show them at the same time. It has zero attack because Konami. Um, it's a link to the uh, link points are down bottom and uh, or excuse me bottom left bottom right light attribute I'm thinking it's a dragon uh, Of course, it's a dragon because it's a erratic monster um, It requires two dragon monsters, so you can make it in blue eyes boys uh, You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn So it is that hard once per turn no matter how many copies you have it says once per turn This is the first effect once per turn during your opponent's turn, if this card is in the extra monster zone, you contribute one monster you control or in your hand, return one face-up card on the field to the hand. This would be so much better if it wasn't during your opponent's turn. It says once per turn during your opponent. Like, if you could use this the second that you summoned it, like, oh my god, I, you, you could have a field day. And also, this card can tribute itself. That's important to note. Now, it continues to say, if this card is tributed, special summon one dragon monster from your deck or your hand, uh, make its attack and defense zero. That's basically built into like, all the hieratics. Obviously, that's really strong. My only thing is, though, if you activate this during your opponent's turn, I don't really know what you're going to be doing because that monster is probably going to die. I really wish that you could just like summon this guy 
tribute it, bounce one of your opponent's cards, then get like a, a red eyes from your deck, like the meta, the red eyes darkness metal dragon. I mean, I think this is another one where it maybe it's like a one of or something. I'm sure there's something that I'm missing. Like I like its bounce effect. I I, I just wish that. I don't know, man. It is zero attack, so you're probably going to have to tribute it. And I wish that you could just use the bounce effect like the turn it was summoned. I don't even care about it being a quick effect. I just want instant gratification because I kind of know how Hieratics roll. They, they're they basically like an OTK and kill your opponent immediately deck. Maybe they're going to change up their style. Maybe they'll become something different. But I don't know. This is the only one where I'm going to kind of reserve judgment. Because I'm pretty sure that there are going to be a lot of plays that I'm just missing with this card. I think the rest of the cards are actually pretty solid. And I think Konami especially did a good job with the Crystron and the Cleafor Monster. I think the Cleafor Monster is... I think it's so good you're going to see it in like, I don't know, half a dozen decks to be honest. So you guys let me know what you think. I don't, I don't want to make this video too long. And also, I am a little sleep deprived at this point because I've been up pretty much all night. So I'm about to go ahead and pass out. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already. Turn on those notifications, please, for daily videos.